Hey, what's up guys? Passive Baller here. This is the third game or the last game of this April 18, 2022 NBA game day. This is game two of Denver Nuggets uh, and Golden State Warriors. Again, game two of uh, Denver versus Golden State Warriors series. That will be at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's 10 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller, please. Click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Again, uh, Golden State Warriors, they are, not, they, they are now up by 1 in the series, 1-0. Golden State Warriors, they have the home court advantage on this. In terms of momentum, I mean, come on now. It's obvious Golden State Warriors got it. Especially, uh, Stephen Curry played. Um, under limited minutes, but still they got that win, so that must be a huge confidence and a momentum booster for Golden State. Um, hmm. So what do we have here? Uh, let's go ahead and check on the injury list. By the way, um, for for Denver Nuggets, two players are out: MPJ and Jamal Murray. For um, Golden State, hold on. There's just one player out, and that's going to be James Wiseman. So, Golden State Warriors, in terms of health, they are actually ahead as well. Uh, they are healthier, man. Okay. Uh, hold on. Just checking on the spread. It is at minus 7 for Golden State Warriors. Okay, so what do we have on this uh, second game? I really feel like Golden State Warriors um, had a huge win in that uh, game one. I felt like Denver Nuggets had a chance, but again, Golden State Warriors, they were able to figure it out uh, late second quarter. And they were able to just, you know, break away, if you know what I'm saying. Um, if you if you would try to analyze the, the game, though, um, um, the, the mistakes or the errors that Denver Nuggets had are something that they can work on. So, if you're a Denver Nuggets fan, just hold up. You know, uh, the, the 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 series ain't over yet. It's just one zero. And again, those um uh, those discrepancies uh, between these two teams on game one, there's something that uh the the coaching staff and the entire Denver Nuggets uh, can actually work on. Number one, uh um I feel I felt like they actually had a lot of three point shots talking about Denver Nuggets. They had 35 three-point shots in that game, and if uh, if I saw it right, they only made 11. Um, so that's just, you know, that's just way too many, and that's just way too low. Not really low, low for, for, for three-point shooting, right? But what I'm trying to say is that had they converted maybe five to ten three-point attempts of the uh, uh, that they had on that game into, into higher percentage shots, maybe dribble drive, you know, or you know, uh, a shot in the paint, maybe and just maybe they were converted into points and maybe and just maybe they can actually, uh, they would have they would have gotten maybe uh, four or six more free throws on that game. Again, Denver Nuggets, they are on the road and they have to make the referees side with them. And one way to do that is they, if they would actually try to do those dribble drives, you know, try to make those referees, uh, referees consider and think uh, to blow that whistle for you. Um, now, if you're Denver Nuggets and if your three-point shooting ain't working, you got to go ahead and try something else. Um, that's the first thing that I actually, uh, you know, that I would actually want to say on that particular game. Uh, Denver Nuggets can actually work on that. Um, an another thing that I would want to actually call out would be, uh, what do you call this, uh, DeMarcus Cousins. DeMarcus Cousins, they, he actually played for less than 10 minutes on that game. Well, we all know he's like you know he's a substitute for uh, Jokic, but I don't know. Maybe if if we can give Cousins more minutes, um, maybe uh, two three more minutes and see what he can do. I, I really feel like seven points, two rebounds uh, for uh, for a player of Demarcus Cousins' um, skills and, and level is just too low. 
I mean, he can actually give you more points, more rebounds, and uh, and defense. Well, he had one block though. But again, I'm expecting more from Demarcus Cousins because they have to have some sort of production that they can get from the bench. Um, on that game, they got 10 points from Highland. Yes, that's actually great. But they need to do more than that. They need to do more than that. Aaron Gordon and and Green, they got to do uh, something at least, you know, at least 10 points. Eight points and seven points can at, cannot help Denver Nuggets for sure. Now in this game, I think uh, Golden State Warriors would still win the game though. Uh, in game two, uh, so highly likely it will be two zero by the end of the game. But I think Denver Nuggets' um, adjustments will be you know will be there, um, and Denver Nuggets would at le- would at least be able to cover the spread if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so earlier. Um, it's at minus seven for Golden State Warriors. I feel like uh, that's something that uh, Golden, I mean Denver Nuggets can actually cover this time around. So our pick would be Denver Nuggets plus seven. Watch out for Jokic, man. I know he would do better and he would do more. Nuggets plus seven. Peace out. Pase love and God bless.